Good morning, students. Now, uh, in the previous class, we have studied about weather and climate. And uh, what is weather and climate? What is the difference? The like, uh, what is the difference between differences are there between weather and climate? Now, today, you know that there are factors which are uh, which are the depends which uh, weather and climate both depends on temperature atmospheric pressure winds all these we have studied in the last class today we will do the first element uh, which affects weather and climate is the temperature now, what is ordinarily known as temperature is actually the temperature of air. It is the measurement of warm, hotness or coldness of substance like air. The heat lends temperature to the atmosphere. Now, the temperature of the air is not actually fixed. Rather, it changes only from, you know, that place to place. Some places are hot some are cold from day the temperature differences in daytime or in the night from season to season the temperature changes all right now it depends on the insulation now insulation what is insulation then the sun radiates heat and light energy in all directions yeah, and it is known as solar radiation. The earth receives its heat from the solar radiations. And horizontally it decreases from the equator to the poles and varies from place to place. All of you know that, that in the polar areas the heat reaches in a slanting way and horizontally it is slanted and in the this area in a torrid zone it is horizontally straight so it is much more uh, hot area so it depends on it decreases from equator to the poles and varies from place place to place on the earth now heating of the atmosphere the heat radiated by the earth back to the atmosphere is called terrestrial radiation the atmosphere uses a major part of the terrestrial radiation for its own heating from below the remaining part is lost to space. Thus, the atmosphere gets heated on more by terrestrial radiation than by insulation. Now, insulation, all of you uh, understood that incoming of the uh, solar radiation which reaches the surface of the earth. The total amount of insulation received at the surface of the earth decreases from the equator towards the pole. This you have, I told you in the previous slide that you now, you understood that. Now, that insulation, what is insulation? It is the, uh, what it gets from the sun the heat all right and temperate uh, temperature zones which you are familiar from class 6 there are torrid and temperate and frigid zones are there and uh, these are known as the hot and cold parts of the earth the torrid are near the equator these are the hottest zones polar regions are extremely cold and the two temperate zones are neither too hot nor too cold. Now, uh, factors 
are there which affect the temperatures temperature of the area so there are many uh, factors that is latitude latitude just we have uh, it depends on it depends on near the equator it is hot and uh, and in the 90 degree latitude it is extremely cold so all of you know altitude of the place altitude or height of a place above the sea level you know that you we have studied that in troposphere atmosphere uh, uh, what happens after a point it starts the temperature starts decreasing all right the atmosphere in the atmosphere stratosphere troposphere what happens troposphere is in the troposphere at certain point after certain point the temperature starts decreasing that is why we when we go to the mountains and uh, higher altitudes what we see that 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 the, those places are cold if we go to some places in the plain suppose in delhi we uh, go from delhi to shimla shimla is definitely a colder place is a mountainous place and it is much more colder than the the plain areas like delhi or uh, other areas even the sea level areas all right and distance from the sea sun heats and cools land areas more quickly than the water bodies that you know that the water gets um, much uh, uh, more time uh, and it cools down also very quickly so in the coastal area near the sea it is a much more equable climate or it's a moderate climate we say no not that extreme climates are there the same way distance from the sea then direction of the wind the winds blowing from the like warmer areas warm areas raise the temperature and if the wind is blowing from the colder area it is uh, cooler it's a much more cooler lower temperature it uh, 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 decreases the temperature winds blowing from the sea lower the um, uh, winds blowing from the sea lower the summer temperature and raise the winter temperature these are certain uh, uh, points which you know that uh, that uh, uh, if the wind is blowing from the direction suppose the himalayas where uh, and it is uh, definitely the cold winds will come from north it will enter to india and it makes the climate of india uh coming from north uh, direction that cold winds will come so these are natural vegetation it depends on natural vegetation humidity etc all these are uh, very much important now ocean currents are also very much important one of the there are both warm and cold ocean currents in the next chapter we will study that that ocean currents also uh, which circulating across the world and we have different types of like ocean currents supply moisture and heat or uh, cool winds which then raise or lower the temperature of the coastal areas if from a warmer uh, ocean currents it will uh, again it will create warm winds uh, the warm winds will come and the cold from cold area the cold winds cold uh, cold areas cold ocean currents will come. so these are some of the points which uh, for your uh, knowledge i am giving you this points and uh, you try to remember the some of uh, some of the points you might be knowing uh, we have studied in class 6 also these things you have studied it all right so next day we will go to atmospheric uh, pressure and uh, atmospheric pressure and then winds we will go 
and this uh, okay children thank you